everyone, this is uh, my Hunter prediction video for the upcoming adventure Karazhan. Um, just a quick heads up, I've added an annotation to my previous video for Druid, just to let everyone know, and I will say it here, that Blackrock Mountain is not actually rotating out. It turns out that until the first expansion of next year, all the expansions and adventures from this year will remain in. Which is a bit weird, but I guess I should have researched that before I uh, recorded <laughs> the, the first Druid video. But yeah, basically all that means for the Druid video, and I did include this in the annotation, is that Druid of the Flame will remain in, and Beast Druid will be all the stronger because of that. Uh, doesn't change my predictions, so on to Hunter. Um, as we now know, Core Rager and Quick Shot will not be rotating out. Um, so that's good. Great. Fantastic. Uh, but onto the predictions, what I think will happen, what I think Blizzard will do. Uh, if we look back at what they've done in previous adventures and expansions, um, they've released a lot of controlly, slow, value heavy cards. We can see this with. Quick Shot itself, which was just a really solid 2 mana, 3 damage spell, the likes of which we've seen many times before in Dark Bomb, which rotated out with Goblins vs Gnomes, as well as Frostbolt and I'm pretty sure many other cards. But not just Quick Shot, of course, we've seen King's Elec, which used the Joust mechanic to hopefully draw a 6 drop like a High Main, or maybe if you're running even bigger cards, those cards as well clearly intended for the slower decks with the bigger minions. And then alongside those two cards, we've also seen controlling cards such as Power Shot, which is just a board control card straight up, as well as the twin legendaries Dreadscale and Acid Maw, which clearly combined were intended to be used as a 10 mana two card combo to wipe the board. And then even alongside these, we can see Ball of Spiders, which was a very slow card that you paid an above average amount of mana for the 3-1-1 bodies, but from those 3-1-1 bodies, you'd obviously get, because the web spinners, the three beasts. Um, essentially drawing from outside of your deck, and increasing the value of your hand in general. So, with Blizzard having gone down this road, we can see how they're trying to make Hunter a slower, even a more board focused class. This is possibly a reaction to Chucky's Face Hunter, which we saw uh, many seasons ago just explode all over ladder. It was hugely popular, pretty much crushed all the mid range decks because it was just so much faster than they were. Um, and it even made like regular mid range hunter seem slow in comparison. And mid range hunter at the time was a fast mid range deck. That was just how aggressive Face Hunter was. And this trend of slowing Hunter down has continued into League of Explorers with cards such as Explorer's Hat, which is a very slow, kind of grindy card. Um, the idea being that you harvest lots of value o off of it over multiple turns with replaying it onto your minions. It didn't quite work out that way simply because it's just too slow and the, the impact of plus one plus one is just too small. It could have been plus two plus one or plus one plus two and it would have been a lot better probably. Um, but even in Whispers of the Old Gods, which recently released, we've seen lots of death rattle minions pushed, such as Fiery Bat, Infested Wolf, uh, Forlorn Stalker and Princess Ahuron, amongst others. Even Infest itself, the card. All these death rattle minions are very slow because naturally, in order for you to get the most value off of them, you want them to die first. And the best way to do that is to trade them into your opponent's board and kill them off that way. Which clearly pushes you to focus more on the board as opposed to focusing on how much health the opponent's face has. Um, and of course, I couldn't not mention the most powerful spell in the game at the moment, more or less, Call of the Wild, which is just an amazing late game draw no matter what deck you are. So, with this trend of Blizzard slowing down Hunter as a class in mind. My predictions for the class are that 
maybe we will get some kind of new to continue on with the death rattle theme introduced in whispers of the odd gods maybe some kind of spell or weapon that will synergize with death rattles in some manner maybe when a death rattle triggers although that would be extremely open to abuse maybe when a death rattle triggers you get extra charges or something some kind of effect happens from your weapon uh, maybe when you play a death rattle minion with a weapon equip equipped you get extra damage something like that that would be super cool as ever since glaive zuka rotated out from goblins versus gnomes leaving standard uh hunter has been stuck with eagle horn bow pretty much occasionally you might see the odd reno hunter deck running uh what's it called a gladiator's longbow but honestly that card is a bit too understated for its costs for a seven mana two charge weapon you really want it to be six attack to be worth it i mean the, the immune effect is nice but that that weapon is never going to be widely played and that's why i'm really hoping that hunter does get a weapon since it is one of the few weapon based classes in Hearthstone. And just a side note, I really doubt that it's going to be a premium minion being released for the uh, Hunter class in Karazhan, simply because Hunter already has a lot of really powerful minions to drop on curve. So off the top of my head, my head you can go Fiber Bat, Huge Toad, Animal Companion or Bow or Kill Command into Houndmaster or Infested Wolf. Turn 5 is a bit iffy, but you can probably throw in a Stranglethorn Tiger or something like Harrison Jones. And then High Main, obviously. Turn 7, you can Hero Power plus something. And then turn 8, clearly Call of the Wild is the way to go. So I'm doubting that it's going to be some kind of just super quality minion. But a weapon of some kind or a spell would be pretty sweet. And I think everyone does want to see some kind of slower hunter develop, as that's sort of where we have not seen Hunter succeed yet. Hunter has completely dominated in its mid-range form and in its super aggressive form, but slow Hunter? That's not really been a thing yet, and I think we all want to see that. Um, so yeah, that's it. On to the next video, which will be Mage.